Does NoFab give you prostate cancer? You might have heard this argument before. There are a lot of people, like people working for the porn industry and I guess a lot of individuals who try to rationalize their own lifestyle, who say things like doing NoFab gives you prostate cancer. Or they might say, well, fapping is healthy because there is scientific evidence that it reduces the chance to get prostate cancer. So in this video, I'm going to take a look along with you guys at the actual scientific studies that these claims are based on, because I already did so myself and I can spoil to you guys if you are pro NoFab, which you probably are if you're watching this video, then I've got some good news for you, because there really isn't a lot of science at all that, that really links fapping to prostate cancer. I think that these are either just very biased opinions or maybe just very bad misinterpretations of the scientific literature. And here is why. And so to start off, this idea that fapping is linked to prostate cancer comes from a couple of scientific studies that try to find a link between how often men ejaculated throughout their life and whether or not these men got prostate cancer. And some of these studies did indeed find that there was a pattern where men who ejaculated more often had a lower chance to get prostate cancer. And so this then led to a lot of people to jump to the conclusion that this is proof that fapping is healthy because fapping would reduce the chance to get prostate cancer and doing no fap would be the opposite and that would then increase the chance to get prostate cancer which would obviously be terribly stupid. But there are a couple of things that you need to know about these studies that will make all the difference. The first one is very simple. Yes, there are some studies that show a pattern where more ejaculation equals less prostate cancer but there are also studies that show the exact opposite. They show a pattern where more ejaculations equals more prostate cancer. In fact, some of the studies that are very often being used as an anti nofap argument, so the studies that show that more ejaculation equals less prostate cancer, some of these studies literally mention in the study itself that there are other studies with conflicting results. And when you actually start to read these studies, things get really confusing. Because some studies say more ejaculation equals more cancer. Some studies say more ejaculation equals less cancer. Some studies say that if you ejaculate more in your 20s and your 30s, well, this increases the chance to get cancer. But if you ejaculate a lot in your 50s, well, then it reduces the chance to get prostate cancer. But here's the next thing you need to know. Most of this does not even matter at all. Even if all of these studies would point in the same direction and all of them would show the same pattern where more ejaculations equals less prostate cancer, it still wouldn't matter. It still would not prove anything about fapping or even ejaculations. Because in science, there is a huge difference between a so-called correlation and a causation. A correlation means that it's just like a pattern and a causation means that there is an actual causal effect where one thing causes the other thing. And in this case, there is no causation at all because all that these studies really do is that they give men like a questionnaire where they ask them, hey, how often did you ejaculate during your lifetime? And then they compare these numbers to whether or not they got prostate cancer. And so even if they would find a pattern where more ejaculations equals less prostate cancer, this would prove nothing about the actual ejaculations. There is no way of saying that the ejaculations actually had anything to do with the cancer. Because it could very well be that some people are just healthier than other people. And if you are healthier, well, you are less likely to get cancer and you are more likely to have a higher sex drive and thus a higher amount of ejaculations. Like saying, that fapping or ejaculations are linked to prostate cancer based on this evidence is like the same thing as saying that buying a Ferrari makes you rich. Because we know statistically that people who buy Ferraris are richer than average, right? But is it the act of buying the Ferrari that makes you rich or is it the fact that rich people are more likely to buy Ferraris because they are rich? And we can say the same thing about ejaculations and prostate cancer. Is it really ejaculating more often that reduces the chance to get prostate cancer? Or could it just be that some people are healthier than other people and that if you are healthier, 
you are more likely to have a higher sex drive and thus more ejaculations. And now there is actually one study who tried to take this factor into account. They actually tried to filter on lifestyle for this very purpose so that they can make sure that they were looking at, you know, actually the effect of ejaculations and not just healthier people. But they ended up doing a terrible job at this because they looked at like a very specific, a very limited and specific list of certain things like certain nutrients and foods like tomatoes. Now I happen to be a registered dietitian, not to brag or anything, but I know a thing or two about nutrition. And I can tell you that if you look at a list as limited as this, well, you are not doing a particularly good job at looking at healthy lifestyle in general. I can safely guarantee you that there are a lot of people who don't eat a lot of tomatoes, who are a lot healthier, who live like a much healthier lifestyle than other people who do eat a lot of tomatoes. This study did such a bad job at like filtering out the lifestyle in general factor. I guess it makes sense why they looked at these individual factors because these are the factors that are known in the scientific literature to have a correlation to prostate cancer. So I guess it kind of made sense that they picked these things, but to think that these limited factors like filter for lifestyle in general, that's just ridiculous. And that's not just my opinion, but overall, like the, the consensus in the scientific community seems to be that studies like these provide no real evidence that there is a causal link between ejaculation and prostate cancer. What we know so far, it is nothing more than a correlation. And for all we know, it probably has to do with the fact that some people are just healthier than other people. And again, if you are healthier, well, you probably get a little bit less cancer and you probably have a higher sex drive. And that pretty much sums up this entire video. Now, while I was doing research for this video, I actually found out that this website, yourbrainonporn.com, which you might be familiar with already, did a very good job at the research of prostate cancer and, and ejaculation as well. And they actually made a really nice summary of it. And I originally intended to link a bunch of sources in the description of this video that I uh, talked about in this video and that I read before I made this video. But I figured it might be a better idea for you to just go to yourbrainonporn.com because they actually made a very nice summary with like descriptions of what study says what. And I think that for someone who is interested in actually digging into uh, more of the scientific literature, it makes more sense to go there and, and use that as like a navigation tool than if I would just link like 20 random studies below and you would have to uh, figure everything out for yourself. So if you want to learn more, go to yourbrainonporn.com. It's a very great website overall on like the topic of NoFab. If you don't know about that yet, go there, check it out. If you like this video, click the like button, leave a comment below because the algorithm really likes that. So that way you will be helping me out. Uh, click the subscribe button if you want to see more of my upcoming videos. Next week I will be making a video on semen retention versus no fab, so that's going to be very interesting as well. If you want to see that, click the subscribe button, the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my upcoming video.